All right, guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, we have some news, and it's news worthy of its own video, which is why I'm gonna do this for you guys right now. As of today, the 9th, John Deere has come out and they signed an MOU, that's a Statement of Understanding, or whatever you wanna call it, um, with uh, US Farm Bureau, I believe. But they're now going to allow independents to fix their equipment, which means farmers can now fix their own equipment. So it says here, U.S. manufacturer John Deere has agreed to allow American farmers the right to repair their own equipment. Well, thank you, John Deere. Thank you for allowing us to repair the stuff that we already own. The American Farm Bureau Federation, a U.S. insurance company and lobby group, announced Sunday it signed a memorandum of understanding with John Deere that ensures any farmer or independent repair facility will be able to repair its own equipment. Hmm. Prior to this agreement, owners of John Deere equipment were barred from modifying or repairing their purchased equipment needed only to use John Deere parts and associated repair facilities to do so. So guys, while this affects agricultural, it also affects us. Maybe not in a good way good way and a bad way the good way is is that when big companies like John Deere accept the fact that right to repair is happening and people can hack their software according to the copyright office in order to get in there and create their own utilities software utilities to interact with the computers is now writing them out of the picture and in a bad light just in general in the farm tractor area John Deere does not hold everything the market share they have is going down and right to repair is really bad PR for a company like John Deere so think about it in this light yes right to repair is moving forward every single day I see stuff where right to repair is moving forward and that's an excellent thing it's 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 an excellent thing for us on that front but at the same time this was a lot of the wind in the sails for the national right to repair. When people start talking about farmers and people beating up on farmers, that's it sounds much more personified than saying a hospital. Because a hospital is just an entity. It's, it's an entity that charges you tens of thousands of dollars to stay one day in, all right? People don't have sympathy for hospitals, not unless they're starting to close. And then if a hospital closes and it's not in your backyard, what do you care? That's the problem with healthcare, is usually people don't care. But with John Deere now signing a memorandum of understanding, it takes a lot of wind out of the sail for right to repair, which makes you wonder, yes, the Farm Bureau had something to do with it, but who else is in there? Who else is has been talking to John Deere and paying them because think about it this this is a huge company and was it was a competition was that what caused this was it really the fact that somebody was lobbying was it the fact that in one state there's probably some legislature that's about ready to pass what caused this because it didn't just happen it's not organic follow the money guys and all I can say is we're going to continue to fight medical right to repair regardless. But the fact of the matter is, is this does change things for the better and for the worse. It puts pressure on other companies because, hey, if a big company like this will go forth and release their tooling and stuff for independence, then maybe other companies should as well. But at the same time, if this was a major factor towards the right to repair movement, they just took that wind right out of the sail. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. I, I'm really kind of curious because it's it's revolutionary, it's something to be praised, and it's something to be cautious of all at the same time. Right to repair is not going away, guys. It, if anything, it's doubling down, and hopefully other companies follow suit. Thanks for watching, guys.